Okay, so we're going to do some further simplification of log expressions here. And I've said here that many questions, particularly in year two integration, will ask for your answer in simplified exact form. And they usually ask for A ln 2 or A plus B ln C form. Now, the textbook doesn't have many questions on this. They don't have anything on it in year one. And then suddenly in year two, they just expect you to be able to do it. So I've got five questions that I'm going to try here and do with you. And then you've got five questions that you're going to try by yourself. So do you remember just now we were looking at a question and I said that it was preferable to leave your answer in the form 9 ln 2 rather than ln of 512. And that's why I did this kind of process over here. You're going to see that this is um, kind of how they want lots of questions to be asked. Um, they want them to be answered, sorry. So like you can see they wanted A ln 2. So for this question, we're going to try and put them all into the form of A plus B ln 2. So I'm going to be using these natural logarithms throughout this whole thing. Just a reminder that the ln of something is the same as log base E. I just way prefer ln for all of my calculations, just because I find it a lot quicker to write. So some different strategies that you're going to do, you're going to convert all of your logarithms so that they're in powers of two, that's going to be important. You're going to separate multiplications and divisions using the log laws if necessary. You're going to do some simplification by adding and subtracting, and you might also need to use some of your other um, log laws, like if ln of one and things like that. So let's start off with part A in this question. We're going to look at what ln of 2e is equal to. So I know that 2e is just 2 multiplied by e. And e, remember it's just a number, it's just 2.7 something. So I'm going to split this using one of my log laws, using that the multiplication can be split into, two, into an addition. So it's going to be ln 2 plus ln e. I'm hoping you can tell me what ln e simplifies to, but we're saying here, ln e, we're saying that it's the power of base e that gives me the answer e. What is that power going to be? Well, that power is just going to be 1. So this first one is ln 2 plus 1, which is in this correct form that we've got here. I suppose we could write 1 plus ln 2, but I'm not really bothered about it being in the right way around. So part b of the question, we've got ln 2 minus ln8 plus ln16. Now if you wanted to, we could just combine these all together by doing the divisions and the multiplications. But I've given you this important tip here, which is to convert all logarithms so that they are in powers of 2, because that's going to make the simplification way, way easier. So the first one is already in a power of 2. The second one, I'm going to change 8 and I'm going to write it as 2 cubed, because 2 cubed is clearly 8. And 16 is 2 to the power of 4. Now what I can do is I can use my log laws. So I've got ln2 minus 3 ln2 plus 4 ln2. And ln2 here is just like a thing. It's just like a piece of algebra. If I said to you, what is a minus 3a plus 4a? That's exactly what's happening here. We're saying how many ln2s have we got? So we've got um, one of them and four of them. That's five of them. Take away three of them. That is going to be two ln2. So that one simplified. It's just going to be two ln2. There was no a part for this one that we've got. OK, let's try C. So C, we have got ln a half plus ln of 8e squared. Well, earlier on we talked about ln half. ln half is the same as ln of 2 to the minus 1. So you can pull that power down and just say it's minus ln 2. So it's going to be minus ln 2 plus ln 8 plus ln e squared. Because of the multiplication of 8 and e squared, we can split it into an addition. So it's going to be a minus ln2 plus ln, well, and that's rewrite 8 as a power of 2, which is 2 cubed. And then we've got ln of e squared. ln of e squared. Well, I'm hoping you can spot that the, um, the log and the e are going to cancel. But let's just think about why that works. We're saying that the power of base e, the power of base e that gives e squared, well, clearly, it's just going to be equal to 2. So this bit here is just 2. And you can check that in your calculator, right? You can do ln of e 
squared. It's clearly two. So let's keep going. We've got minus ln2 plus 3 ln2. I've taken that power and just brought it down. Plus 2. So we've got minus ln2 plus 3 ln2. Think of it like algebra. It's like saying you've got minus a plus 3a. Well, obviously, that's going to be 2a. So it's going to be 2 ln2 plus 2. Okay, let's try d now. So we're going to do d is ln of 2 root 2 minus ln of 16 over root 2 plus 2 ln root 2 e. Okay, I'm definitely making these questions get a lot harder now. So this is going to be ln 2 plus ln root 2 minus this is one I want to be super careful of. We're subtracting this expression, which is going to be ln of 16 minus ln of root 2. Do you notice how I had to put the subtraction outside the front? Because although it looks like it's going to be a subtraction and another subtraction, it's actually a subtraction of this expression that we've got here, which is mean you're then going to get a plus that we have. And then for the last part, we've got two lots of ln root 2 plus ln e. So let's go through this now. I had to do, I couldn't put the 2 as the power unless I wanted to put it as the power of the whole thing. So that's ln 2. Well, ln of root 2, root 2 is 2 to the power of a half, so it's going to be a half ln 2. I've then got minus ln of 2 to the power of 4, this is going to be 2 to the power of 4, so it's going to be minus 4 ln 2. And I'm going to have plus from the minus and the minus. And this is a power of a half, so it's going to be plus a half ln 2. Plus, from this bit down here, two lots of a half ln 2. Plus two lots of ln e, just from expanding these brackets that I've got here. So I've got all of these ln 2s, OK? I've got, let's see if I can, I've got a 1 ln 2. I've got a half ln 2. I'm subtracting 4 ln 2. I'm adding on a half ln 2. And I'm also adding on 2 lots of a half, plus 2 lots of a half. So I've got minus ln2. So I have minus ln2. And then I've got 2 ln e. Well, ln e is 1. So it's just 2. So the whole thing is 2 minus ln2. I'm going to try and type this in and see if it's worked, OK? So I'm going to type in ln of 2 root 2 minus ln of 16 over root 2 plus 2 ln root 2 e. And you always have to fit e, you always have to put a power, which is really annoying. And it hasn't simplified that for us, but that's not a problem. So we've got 1.3068. So we're going to try this on a separate line. We're going to do 2 minus ln 2, and we get 1.3068. So we know that we've actually simplified that whole expression. And it's really pretty complicated what it comes down to there. Let's have a look at e. So e is 3 ln 8e plus 3 ln 2. So it's 3 ln 8e plus 3 ln 2. So my brain kind of sees that I can factorise out a 3, first of all. So I have 3 lots of ln 8 plus ln e plus ln 2. I split the ln 8e into an ln 8 plus an ln e like this. So that's going to be three lots of ln 8 is going to be 3 ln 2. ln e is 1. And I've got the ln 2 here. So inside the brackets, it's 3 ln 2 plus ln 2. That's 4 ln 2. So it's three lots of 4 ln 2 plus 1 which is going to simplify the 3 times 4 gives 12, so it's 12 ln 2 plus 3. Let's see if that's true. 
So we've got 3 ln of 8e to the power of 1 plus 3 ln 2. So we've got 11.31 and we're going to try 12 ln 2 plus 3. And they are the same as each other. So you can check these by typing them in your calculator and see how they go. So you have got five of them to try here. I think you should pause the video. I've put the answers down here so that you can check to see if you've got them right. But pause the video and have a go at simplifying these. I am going to go through them to see how they go. Just wanted to quickly point out there are many different methods about how you could have simplified these things. You didn't have to factorise by three, for example. But I always quite like it if there is a factorising to take that factor out. So I'm going to work through these questions and then we will do some stuff on solving equations. But you should see this as part of the exercise because um, the textbook hasn't done many questions like this and I think they're really important. Okay, here's me going through the answers then. So the first one, ln 8e, that's just the same as ln 8 plus ln e. Well, ln 8 is 2 to the power of 3, so it's going to be 3 ln 2 and ln e is 1. So it's just... 1 plus 3 ln 2, which is exactly what my answer is that I've got down here. B, I've got ln 4 minus ln 2 plus ln 32. So this is 4 is 2 squared and ln 32, 32 is 2 to the power of 5. So that's 2 ln 2 minus ln 2 plus 5 ln 2. And that's all going to simplify to 6 ln 2 when you do that simplifying process that we've got. C, ln of 2e to the half. Well, I'm going to start off by splitting it into an ln 2. Add an ln of e to the half. So that's ln 2. You can either pull the half down, so you've got a half ln e. Or you could have just said that the ln and the e cancel, so you get a half. But we know that ln e here is 1, so it's just a half. So writing it in the correct order, we've got a half plus ln 2, which is my answer down here. D, we've got ln of 2 root e minus a third ln 4 plus 2 ln e. We start it down here. So that's ln 2 plus ln of e, the square root of e minus a third ln of 4. Now 4 is 2 squared. And we've got 2 ln e, which is just going to be 2. So that's ln 2 plus, well, this way, ln of e square rooted is ln of e to the half, which is just going to be a half, minus 2 thirds ln 2. I've taken this 2 and I've multiplied it by the third that I've got there, plus 2. So now all I need to simplify is ln 2 minus 2 thirds ln 2. And I've then got the 2 plus a half. Well, 2 plus a half is 5 over 2, and I've got 1 whole ln 2 minus 2 thirds ln 2, which is going to be a third ln 2, which I've got down here. And then my last one, I've definitely done some very challenging questions here, but it's good practice. I'm going to split these out, so I've got a 5 multiplied by an ln 4 plus ln e plus three lots of ln 2 plus ln e to the minus 1. So I had to make sure that this 5 was being multiplied by both of these bits here, not just by the first bit. So that's going to be 5 ln 2 squared plus 5 ln e plus 3 ln 2. Now ln of e to the minus 1 is just going to be minus 1. So that's going to be plus 3 multiplied by minus 1, which is minus 3. So I'm going to bring that 2 down from this power up here. So it's going to be 10 ln 2 plus 5. 5 ln e is just 5 plus 3 ln 2 minus 3. And then I finish by doing the 5 take away the 3, which is 2, and the 10 plus the 3, which is 13. So I get 2 plus 13 ln 2 like I've got here. Now, these are really, really difficult, so there's no harm in actually just repeating all of these questions again or just making some of them up yourself and then comparing them on the calculator to see if you get the right answers. OK, good luck.